video, you lovely people. This video is sponsored by Love and Pies, my new favourite mobile game. She's actually been playing it a lot. I have. Every evening I'm like, what are you doing on your phone? Playing Love and Pies. I'm like, okay. I'm baking, okay? <laughs> baking. Baking in the comfort of your, you know, sofa. Sofa, of your legs up, roof reclined. There's a heat wave in the UK. I don't know if we can call it a heat wave anymore. I mean, this is the third year in a row where the temperatures have got to this amount where they've got to like high 20s sometimes even low 30s during the summer month i think it's just our summers now oh. i think it's this is just life now okay well summer has hit and we thought we had hay fever but no we're just ill i think so yeah i was like my legs really ache i did do eleven thousand steps yesterday <laughs> but like my legs really ache and you're like i can't breathe i can't breathe my throat's so <laughs> sore and this Rupert, headache won't go and rupert's like really snotty we're constantly chasing him with tissues as i was saying it's hot so that made us think of malaysia yeah. so we thought it's today's to stay hydrated well, yes. is what we, we thought, thought. <laughs> we thought that today's baking bad should involve my mum's old Malaysian Cook Malaysian book. delicacies book, mm -hmm. which has got all kinds of foods in it. But we're going to focus on desserts. Ooh! But before we get into the baking, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Love and Pies. It's my new favourite mobile game. It's a free to download Merge 2 mobile game. That means you essentially bake by smushing together two ingredients to get to then the next level of baked goods. And Lord, do I wish it was that easy to bake things. Recently divorced Amelia is the heroine of Love and Pies. She's returned to her hometown on a mission with her daughter after her family cafes burnt down and her mother has gone missing. Dun, dun, dun. By matching ingredients and leveling up, you renovate the building, solve local mysteries, meet a diverse range of characters and build a thriving, colourful community cafe. It's a mix of sitcom, telenovela and a kind of cosy mystery that can be played on a mobile phone or tablet and is a must play for anyone who loves a little bit of intriguing drama. Now Love and Pies is all about friendship, family and all kinds of love and diversity year round. Queer storylines are built into the core of the game, with key characters Amelia's uncle and best friend both being LGBTQ+, and I really appreciate that. This Pride Month, though, it's time to celebrate love, acceptance and pride in Appleton for a special two-week collection event at the end of June. You can help Yuka and Sven throw a big party and decorate the cafe, reach your milestone challenges, explore new story content, and put your creativity to the test when customising and decorating your world. And, in case you can't tell, from our many Baking Bad competitions in the past, I'm quite competitive. So I love that you can challenge yourself with events and competitions in the game. Play along with me and we can chat about our cafes in the comments. Like, why is the blue so nice? What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to download Love and Pies for free now. And we're going to make it doubly challenging. Well, maybe it won't be as challenging because I don't actually have to cook with Jessica. <laughs> But I'm going to focus on making mango puddings. Yeah. And Jessica's going to do steamed pandan cupcakes, but not because we didn't have the metal cupcake pans. We just have a large pandan pan. <laughs> pandan, pandan pan. Um, yeah, I was like, we could use the silicon cupcake moulds to steam. And then I realised I don't think they'll get hot. And then will that make them not steam? But then they cook in the oven. Ah, this anyway. is steaming. <laughs> We have <laughs> um, an actual um, traditional pandan cake tin, which we bought back from Malaysia. We bought this in Malaysia and then I had to pack it in our suitcase and pack things around it. I even packed knickers into the, <laughs> into the hole. <laughs> I really enjoy packing suitcases. It's uh, I think fun for me. I think, I'm guessing this bit here is to lift it out. Oh, well, yes. Right. What I would assume. Because it's hot. Yes. And we have a steamer. I don't know if you can see. Lift into view. Which is one of our wedding presents. You know, the classical, like, that is all the sort of things we need for our house. And um, it's got two levels and you can steam fish and vegetables. I mean, we don't use it as nothing. I think they know what a steamer does. <laughs> I just suddenly saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, why don't we use this thing more? But I have worked out we could steam it with this. So yes. we're going to put this in. It doesn't quite fit. So we're going to have to like kind of float it in there somehow. It will be fine. All right, anyway, that's not my problem because I'm not doing the pandan cake, I'm doing the mango puddings. Oh yeah. Okay, well I guess that's my problem. Let's swap places. Oh no, you've got, you've got to do that 
Okay. Uh, yes. So this is the pandan cupcakes. Pandan, if you don't know, is a leaf and it's used for flavouring. And it's also, that's why it's sort of got this green colour. Yeah, the cupcakes are green. We don't have pandan leaves, they're quite hard to buy in the UK. So instead, we've got these two different types of pandan flavouring. This one we bought last time we were in Malaysia, and this one we bought this year when we were in Malaysia. This one is very green. So we're gonna mix the two of them together because this one actually smells much better, but apparently it did go out of date in 2020. So, so it might be very strong. Maybe it's lost some of its essence. Hmm. Maybe we should just go with the bright green one then. And these are my mango puddings. Well, they're not. These are the ones in the book, which are obviously very professionally done. They look amazing. But I am aiming to get them done. They like look this. so good. <laughs> Basically, it's mango and coconut milk, and then you set it with using agar agar, which is like a, a vegetarian gelatin, and you set them in the fridge. But then when you eat them, they should have like a kind of blancmange kind of texture. I must admit, I have, I did make these once before, but I put not enough pulp in and um, too much water and too much agar agar. So they basically turned out to be like, almost like sweet, quite hard jelly sweets, but Rupert loved them. So that's good. So I'm gonna try and make them a little bit more authentic today. And we should admit that we have made a pandan cake before. I think that we did that for a video. <laughs> Yeah, we tried to but do the watch here. We have to make things slightly differently because we may we also have some dietary restrictions. If you're new here, hi! We have to bake things in a free-from way because our bodies are quirky that way. Is it quirky or is it on trend? Yes, on trend. So our bodies are just fashionable ahead of time. We're going to use rice flour. I mean to be fair, it just says use a low protein flour, which we were like, rice flour? And we're gonna use Rupert's cocoa growing up milk, which <laughs> is like basically formulated for toddlers. Uh, because it's got all the vitamins and things, just because we're going to make our cakes like, coconut milk. extra healthy. Rupert's allergic to dairy, so... <laughs> basically, it's, a, it's basically coconut milk. Right. Plant butter. Let's go. Well, most of the recipes in this book are like, take 20 ingredients, put them in one bowl, smash them. Pour ingredients into a mixing bowl and beat. I could do that. I'm using these really cute little moulds um, that actually worked out really well last time. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll work out well this time. They're, for, they're chocolate moulds, but they could do, you know, you can use them for any kind of jellies as well. And I've got uh, coconut milk, agar agar powder, and some uh, mango pulp slash puree. Um, disclaimer, this is actually from a tin. I just kept it in the fridge because I, I made some like mango lassies the other day. So, but you can buy a whole tin of it. Or if you want to, you can use a mango as Jessica was demonstrating, and um, and then pulp it up. But you know, who's got time for that? No one. <laughs> and uh, what have you got? I'm opening this. You've got your I'm rice trying flour. to open it. Is My this... hands aren't very strong. And then we're going to use um, a sugar alternative. You're still struggling to open that, so I'm going to turn to my... I am. I need to mix A and B in a pot. A being the mangoes. And leaving water, sugar, and powder. I'm just gonna put in all of the mango pulp I have left. Because, you know, make it mango-y. <laughs> and when am I gonna use this mango pulp Wait, again? So is this not how you ended up with this problem last time? Oh, well, I didn't measure out the ingredients. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not really a measuring out ingredients Wait, kind of there person. There we go, there we go, That's why I don't like baking. You don't this know. is a 30 gram packet, and it needs 10 grams. I should probably wear it, because last time I didn't wear it. I just put, yeah. I just put what I thought was probably a third. I'm following the recipe. Go. We need this little dish. Maybe there's no. Oh one. no! There's no out of battery. I mean, when was oh. the last time we used it? What a drama! What kind of batteries does it take? Oh dear. <laughs> right, let's hope this battery works. Over. It's so flat. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Quick! Oh, yeah! doing anything. Oh dear. Uh, is it thinking about it? No. Mm. Oh. Maybe click zero again or something? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> the whole packet, which has got six packets in it, is 30 grams. Oh. But actually you need two pack. I need like two packets. I see. So what we'll do is use that packet, which has got three, and then a whole packet, which is five, so it's like eight. And then that'll be fine. <laughs> it will. Good. So glad this 
watch out. Yep, there you go. <gasps> the end! <laughs> B and then you mix A and B together. Well, I was just like, if you're mixing A and B together anyway, why not just like mix it all, you know? Do you really need to have your food all like, you know, separated? Just make it to a big shepherd's pie mess that's all going in the same place. We are not making a shepherd's pie. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be a bit disappointing if our <laughs> pan dine cake and our mango pudding came out looking like a shepherd's pie. Right, all good chefs touch their food a lot. I don't know that that's a saying. Oh my god, she has touched the food. Just get a new egg. But I can't, because then it'll, it'll be the wrong amount of egg. Right, anyway, I've got to mix this now. <sighs> okay. Two teaspoons butter. No. Teaspoons. Teaspoons. Two teaspoons of melted butter. That seems like a very small one. I have to say, at least the laughter is making. Oh no, me... my spoon! Must have been. <laughs> studying what makes someone like wholehearted is that um, they have play in their life and how all adults should introduce and have play in their life if they don't already and we play all the time we do this is true even before we but we don't like play like games we just muck about have fun dance around dance around be a bit goofy with Make each other that Dad is boiling darling okay so turn it off yeah i need 168 mils of what? That's so weird. I need 168 milliliters. This seems like someone's converted from ounces. 168. Now, a little thing about coconut milk, if you don't yes, know already, darling. is you should always check on the back because they all have like, you can get lots of different cans of coconut milk, but like they have different amounts of coconut extract in them, which is obviously going to affect it if you're making like something that's meant to be like really quite rich in coconut, like this pudding. Coconut milk, rich and creamy, Coconut milk, essential waitress coconut milk. So let's have a look. So which one would you think would have more coconut in it, Jessie? Oh, I would bet the rich and creamy one. one. The one that says rich and creamy. Okay. Yes. So we have a look. It has 54.55%, 28% coconut extract. <gasps> Shocking. And the rest is water. What? 60%. <gasps> so actually, the essential waitress, which was is probably cheaper. It was actually cheaper than these two. Is the best work. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to start the, the mixer. Just warning everyone. Fine. An extra egg probably won't kill it. Oh, there she goes. This is elegance. <laughs> hey. Oh no. Oh wow. Delicate work here. I might wipe it up after. <laughs> you might wipe it up after. <laughs> I don't think that extra egg was maybe necessary. It's very it's runny. I think a chiffon cake is runny, isn't it? Until you bake it. Well, it says arrange the moulds in wok and steam for 15 minutes. Okay. Pull to go into the fridge. I mean, I'm not, but these are. <laughs> I say <think laughs> yours. You never go inside a fridge. 
I learned that in primary school. I learned that when I worked at Starbucks, it got stuck in there. <laughs> I think you should have known it before you were working in Starbucks, darling. It was like that scene out of like the L word. You said I was just stuck in there with the love of my life, or I was just stuck in there with a load of milk. Like, no, because you didn't know me yet. No, I didn't know. Mm. And also, why would you be at Starbucks in the fridge with me? <laughs> Check to see if it's ready. Da, 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 da. Oh gosh, it feels a little so, thick. Solid. Solid. Cooked through though. Cooked through. Well, I don't know actually because it's left residue on. I don't think it's ready. No, no, it's not ready. No, putting the lid back on. We're doing it again. Maybe we just keep it at 80. More. And more. Not. Just do more. No, don't. I think this, the hot steam is maybe too hot. Maybe we keep it at 80. The hot steam is too much. It's fine. Everything in it is edible. My things are almost set, but... Ooh. Don't do that! It was, my it was my chance to reveal my pudding. I take didn't the, mean to. Take the best bit. You didn't mean to, of course you did. You put your finger straight in it. I'm gonna poke your cake in a minute. Okay. They look better than my lunch last time, don't they? I mean, look, they're so set, I can turn this plate at 180. Oh god, no. Is that 180? Don't do it. 90. What are you doing? Oh, get out of the butterfly. They're a little bit more squishy. I think we might need a fork. These are definitely squishy. Maybe they're not fully set. Why are we using Rupert's cutlery? Because <laughs> they seem small and these are small. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have this snail. Okay. Mmm, like mango -y. You hate mango. I <laughs> do. No. I think it's lovely. If you like mango, these are good. <laughs> now we have to get Rupert's tests. The cake and the mango pudding, which one he prefers. Just a tin of mango pulp, some coconut milk. Some agar agar. Agar agar, aga, or agar agar, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm excited to see your cake. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a long, that was a long wait. Is it tasty? I'm going for more. This is not going to plan. We're going to get it out of the pan. Uh, no. Rupert well. <laughs> Rupert's like, Rupert needs some cake. Rupert's coming to help. He's currently bringing over his learning tower so he can also no, reach. Appears to be bringing your learning tower over so you can better assist Mama in her time of baking desperate need. Oh God. Right. Oh, pushing, pushing. Whoop. Oh. Mm. Wow, what a yeah. raised cake. <laughs> this is what happened last time. Shush, what, like, Claudia. Pancake. Maybe the low protein flour, you know? Maybe it's not right. Maybe we didn't use the right flour. Uh, I think this might just fall apart, to be honest. Oh, look. Yeah. There we that go. That looks nice. I'm glad you think so. I think you, you were meant so. to, you know, like, line the tin. <laughs> yeah, like all right. butter or oil. Can you not put oil on the tin? That was a rookie mistake. Even yeah. I know that and I don't bake. Yeah. Alright, have a little feel. Is that hot or just warm? Warm. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate it. Oh, there you go. He's asked for more. Which one do you like more? Mama's cake or Mama's mango puddings? This one. Oh, what? Your cake is the winner! I love you! Mwah, mwah, mwah. That was the correct answer, oh, my angel! You, but it definitely right. did not win the aesthetic test. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, in all fairness, I would say you did win in the presentation, mm, but mistakes. I will say that, that is all down to the moulds. <laughs> I've got this. <laughs> well, Rupert's just so. like moonwalking past us right now. <laughs> He's just happy on his pandan kick. Yeah, Rupert's got really into what he thinks is ballet at the moment. Ooh, it's anyway, very interesting. He says the pandan kick wins on taste. Shocking. Um, but obviously he really likes the bugs. M the pandan cake is dense. Very dense. It's a lot. I don't think we were quite correct in what we think is low protein flour. No, maybe not. Or we just had the wrong amount of eggs for the, for the kind of type of... I think they would have risen more if they were in cupcake sized things. Who knows? Uh, we can try again I, next time. Uh, 
Yeah, we well, you know. Watch out, yeah. watch follow us on Instagram at Jesse and Claude um, to see if we do any better next time. I think it's a success. I would say we did pretty well. I mean, this is really more. It tastes like pan and cake. Pan it cake. looks like pan and cake almost. They look like mango puddings. They taste like mango puddings. Delicious. Rupert likes both. Wonderful. I think it's a hit. We fed the child. Yay! We've done well. Yay! Go us! Woo! Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to click the link in the description to download Love and Pies for free and have a lot of fun playing. It's a very, very good game. Might be a bit less messy than our baking. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to, to a million. I love they said we. We, yeah, you are so me. close to a million. <laughs> I am, and you're here occasionally. Thank and you. And then we have more excuse to make bad cakes. <laughs> bye bye, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>